Uh, cool. Okay. We have a total of n coins that you want, want to form in a staircase shape where every k row must have exactly k coins. Given n, find the total number of full staircase rows that can be formed, where n is a non-negative integer and fits within the range of a 32-bit int signed int. Uh, okay. So it seems like um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just uh, so you have to. Uh, uh, the number is n choose 2, which is uh, uh, or n times n plus 1 over 2, which, uh, and, then see the, and then you want the biggest number that's smaller than that. Uh, and that's the case because, uh, because, you know, I mean, essentially you try to find the biggest number such that f of x is equal to uh, uh, 1 plus 2 plus da 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 plus x plus x, uh, and then you're trying to find the, uh, um, you're trying to find the biggest f of x that is smaller than n, right? That's pretty much this problem is. Uh, and we can actually play around with, uh, uh, you know, like, um, you know, you can play around with, with using that formula because this is just equal to uh, x times x minus 1 over 2. Something like that, but but uh, and and if n is big enough, then you could actually use binary search to kind of uh, or bisection, if you will, uh, to kind of figure out what n is or what x is in this case. Uh, but I think uh, uh, given that uh, n is uh, uh, just at most two to the thirty-two, uh, and this formula is at most square root of n. Uh, so x is at most square root of n, which is uh, two to the sixteen, which is which one's fine enough. Uh, so we'll just do a quick for loop, uh, and if it isn't, then we'll, you know we'll change it. But this is also easy, so I think I keep that in mind a little bit. Since, since this is just a for loop, I'm going to do in C, uh, and then you have uh, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm still going to store stuff in in. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna st still store stuff in a long, just because you know why not? Uh, it you know uh, it, uh, just so that you could go over on an edge case without like having to worry about it. Uh, let's say long n is equal to n, uh, and then we just oh actually just too long. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's just true. Oh, and just to, this is actually some just to make it slightly clearer, uh, and then we turn. I think this is okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe we might complain about casting, but uh, okay. Well, uh, so it works in the first case, and then <coughs> take a look at it. Oh, mm, okay, fine. Do 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 do. Wait for the second case a little bit. Okay. And then you, you really want to change a uh, big case. I mean, you want to test a big case. Uh, and I'll just copy two to do do. Man, as you can see, my internet is kind of slow. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Um, maybe seven. Okay, so this seems like it's okay, even for really big numbers. Uh, just for curious sake, what happens if you try to give it too big? Hmm, okay. So I do have on that, huh? Uh, 32 sign it. Hmm. Mm. Hmm, I don't know that to... Hmm, this is, I mean, I I guess these are, are kind of... Because um, I'm testing cases that are actually not, uh, uh, that's out of the bounds for the 
the problem statement. So that's why maybe my answer is kind of wrong. But um, because I because what happens is that this will not you know it doesn't fit in ints right. So okay, so maybe I just still submit it even though I guess their their solution is even more right. But uh, and until we get extra credit for us making things even more correct, then I'm not gonna do it for now. Cool.